Hi guys, so first and foremost, I want to let you guys know that this is my first ever tutorial, so I probably didn't do a good job, but I really hope you guys can understand what I mean. This is just the way I do it. I know there's plenty of other tutorials on YouTube, but like I said, this is just how I do it, so I hope you guys understand and can follow with me. You'll need yarn. It doesn't really matter which kind to be honest. A tapestry needle, some scissors, and lastly a crochet hook. I'm using a size 5 hook today. So I'm going to start off by making a slip knot and I'm also going to be chaining 60. This is going to be the thing that hangs around your mirror and holds the lilies together. Once you reach 60, you just cut it and make sure you leave some extra yarn. So now for the leaf, you're going to chain 16. Once you chain 16, you're going to put your hook through the second hole, so not the first one but the second one, and create a single crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to create a half double crochet. So you yarn over, go inside the loop, pull the yarn, and then pull through three. Then after that, you're going to do a double crochet. So you yarn over, go through the loop, pull the yarn, and this time instead of going through three, you're going to go through two, yarn over, and go through two again. Then you're going to repeat that two more times. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. <laughs> So once you did three double crochets, you're going to do basically a decrease. So in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet again. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. Then to basically finish the first half of the leaf, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Then after that, you're going to chain one. Once you chain one, you basically do the same thing. So you single crochet in the first loop, half double crochet in the second, do three double crochets, And then decrease again, so half double crochet, and then single crochet. So what I do after this is I turn around, basically working on the bottom half now. And I repeat the same pattern, so a single crochet, half double crochet, three double crochets, and so on and so forth. Then again, once you reach the middle, you're going to slip stitch and chain one and repeat the same pattern. After the single crochet, I decided to go into the very first loop and slip stitch. Then you just cut the yarn and you should be left with something like this. And here I'm slipping my hook through the two single crochets I did. And then I'm grabbing the little string that we did earlier and then I am pulling it through both loops with the hook. And there you go, that's how you have your first base layer. Now with the extra strings, you're going to grab your tapestry needle and weave the ends. Moving on, you're going to do a magic circle and chain 6 in the loop. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
once you've chained six in the loop, you're going to pull the yarn to close the circle and slip stitch into the first loop. Then you're going to chain one and increase in each loop. So instead of six, you'll be having 12 by the end of this row. An increase basically is when you do two single crochets in each loop. So then after that, you're going to slip stitch back into the first one, chain one, and now for the next three rows, you're just going to single crochet all around. Once you've made it to your last row, you're going to slip stitch, chain one, and now we're going to start our decrease row. So what you're going to do is single crochet in the first loop, then grab the loop, and then without doing anything, going into the next stitch, and then pulling through all three loops. So you're going to do the same pattern. One single crochet, and then one decrease. One single crochet, one decrease. So now, you're going to chain one like always, and this is what it should look like. Mine came out a little weird, but it's okay. Now that you chained one, you're going to go into the next loop and single crochet. Then you're going to do a double crochet. In the next loop, you're going to do a double crochet, a single crochet, and then slip stitch in the same loop. Then you're gonna go into the next loop, single crochet, double crochet, next loop again, double crochet, single crochet, and slip stitch. Repeat this pattern until you've done all of them. You should have five petals. After slip stitching my last petal, I just chain one and cut the remaining yarn. Now grabbing the yellow yarn, I'm going to be wrapping it around my fingers around nine times and cutting a long piece so that I can wrap the yarn over those loops and create a knot. Then after that, you're gonna cut the loops to create like a little puff ball, I guess you can call it. You see this yarn? You're going to grab your tapestry needle and pull it through the middle. So now that you have the string outside, you're gonna grab the yellow puff and grab the longest piece and go from under and pull it through the middle. Now that you have both of the strings on the outside, you're just going to tie a knot. Now you're going to grab the base, thread your loop through the tapestry needle, and from the top this time, put your hook through the hole and pull it through. It's okay if you squish the lily because you can just shape it back to how it was. Then what I do is just tie a knot. I also cut the excess yarn. Now you have your first lily. Don't forget to thread your ends. Now for the puff, you're gonna do another magic circle and you're gonna chain five. Once you chain five, you're gonna slip stitch into the first one and then chain one and cut the yarn. 
Now, this is the tricky part. You're gonna grab your white yarn, create a slip knot, and in the first loop, you're gonna pull the yarn through and chain one. Following this, you're going to chain two more. So basically, you should have three. Now what you're gonna do is yarn over, go inside the same loop, pull the yarn, and make sure you pull it up high enough so it isn't tight. Yarn over again, pull through the loop, grab the yarn, pull it up high enough, and you're gonna do this about five times. Once you've done this five times, you're going to yarn over, pull through almost all the loops except for the chain three, and just slip stitch through the last two. Then you're going to chain two, and slip stitch back into that same loop. Now in the next loop, you're going to chain one, two, three, and repeat the same thing. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, slip stitch through two, chain two, slip stitch in the same loop, And continue doing that until you have five petals. Once you do that, I slip stitch and then chain one. And cut the yarn. Make sure you leave a good amount as well. Now you're going to turn it around. And with the two white yarns, you're going to tie those together. And cut them. Then you should be left with two yellow yarns. What you're gonna do is put your hook through the same two loops we put the string through. And then what you're gonna wanna do is grab the first yellow yarn, pull it through. And now once that's there, you're just gonna create a knot and tie it off. Then you cut it and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys create this, please tag me on Instagram so that I can see them and hype you guys up. Oh, bro, where's Kelsey?